right, five things you might not know about me. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Leap and Leon, the water. Uh, wouldn't you know it, yesterday while shooting the footage for my response to being tagged following the AGs and also Waterfall Madman for tagging me both uh, in the five things you may not know about me. Ironically, <clears throat> he was also tagging the AGs. So thank you to both. I never felt so loved on YouTube in my life. So thank you. Back to our scheduled video. And he tagged me in this uh, special tag event. So here they are, five things you might not know about me. Number one, a couple years ago I decided to add something to my list of talents and so I decided to learn an instrument. Oh, that's not it. There we go. I learned to play the ukulele three years ago. I picked it up. You might recognize this little jingle. Number two. It's hard to tell on camera, but I'm actually kind of a tall guy. Uh, I'm not playing professional basketball, but uh, I am just shy 6'4", so I generally tell people 6'4", but the odd thing about being a tall guy, I was stuck with tiny feet. I got size 10 and a half, and you know what they say about guys with small feet? Tiny brains? No, we like to hike, and we have a hard time standing up. Number three, uh, believe it or not, I actually come from a pretty big family. I've got five siblings. There's a total of six kids in my family. I'm the second oldest, and I even have eight step-siblings. Uh, I only have one sister. She's the second to the last, and believe it or not, she was able to find herself a husband. She's able to get past five brothers. Uh, it's probably a good thing he grew up around us. Uh, and no, he's not one of the step-siblings. That'd be gross. Okay, so this is a photo of... It's upside down. It's upside down. Thanks, Jake. That's my son. This is a picture of my five brothers, my four brothers, and my one stepbrother with my dad at uh, our annual camp out in the Sierra Nevada mountains. And I bet you can't guess which one's me. I'll give you a hint. Did you figure it out? Number four. I'm a big do-it-yourselfer. I'm just a crafty guy and I like being self-sufficient. Also, I have an extreme aversion to paying somebody to do something that I can do myself, like cutting my own hair. I introduce RoboCut. I've been saving myself $20 every couple months for the last 15 years. Check it out. All right, I've been saving myself a lot of money for the last 15 years. Maybe it's not the best haircut, but I get, I get by. And uh, I only started cutting my own hair after I got married, so it didn't really matter. And lastly, number five, I'm about to lose half of my subscribers right now, and that's not a lot. I'm a cat person. I don't need the assurance from an emotionally shallow animal. You see, when you yell at a dog, his tail will go down between his legs and cover his genitals. His ears will go down. Dog is easy to break, but a cat, it makes you work for his affection. They don't sell out like dogs do. All right, truth be told, I came into marriage uh, unattached to either dogs or cats. I grew up with lots of animals. My mom saw that. We had cats, dogs, rats, snakes, fish, birds, rabbits. We even ate the rabbits. Um, but my wife, she was a big cat person and, uh, over time I just sort of grew into a cat person. So dogs are wonderful creatures. They require a lot of love and time to care for. Cats are just easier. And like Jack Burns said, they make you work for their affection. And I honestly don't really have a whole lot of time for that either. Uh, the real question I have is if you were starving, in a life and death situation, which animal is best? As Dwight Schrute puts it, cats do not provide milk, wool, or meat. There's your answer. That was me, five things you didn't know about me. Now the, the hard part, figuring out who to tag 
Uh, first person I'm going to tag is a gentleman in Ireland, Serapin Outdoors. Uh, I haven't been following him too long, and I don't know if he's been following me too long, but uh, he's got a wonderful accent and has some fun videos. Hike with Gina. We don't ever hear from you. You just always make these very wonderful videos of you hiking with music. Um, maybe you can put your five things in the same format you do with great music. Last person, this is a long shot. It's got a pretty big channel. Don't even know if he follows me. I don't know what the rules are of these tagging games, but hikingguy.com. Got a lot of information from him over the years because uh, he's an Angelino just like me. Maybe we'll get five things about hiking guy. Maybe we won't. Thanks for watching, guys. Now go outside and do something.